Well, another Monday is upon us. Hope everybody had a good weekend. My weekend wasn't so good. It started off on vacation. I started vacation Wednesday afternoon. Go to my car after work, crank it up, starter's dead. So there's about four or five hundred dollars at the fork out. But anyways, I got four envelopes here on the bench today. We're going to do four because this is quite a big envelope and I'm not sure what's in it. And actually, this one has been sitting here since 2022, almost a year. So I really don't know what's in this one. We're going to find out together. Y'all stick around. Let's see what we got in them. Okay, let's get started here with this one. It comes to us from Illinois. Go ahead and score it here, cut it off. See if we can get into this tape. Get the tape pretty well. And it's gonna fight me. I don't want to cut. Nah. That'll do it. It's money. Definitely money. Let's carry this one. Bunch of goodies in this one looks like. All right, looks like I got a couple folding postcards here. Got one from Stone Mountain. We went to Stone Mountain last June for my birthday in that time. What these folding postcards is is kind of a multi-view postcard. Instead of getting one view like a typical postcard, you get multiple views. You get some people hanging out by the lake. The old boat used to tour the lake with. People feeding the deer. The old gondola going to the top. The old car museum. Car museum's gone. They sold it off here a while back. Changed owners. This is up top. That's where your gondola ride comes in. Now this is something interesting. I've seen postcards of this and I think I actually bought one. This whole lake, pond, reflecting pool, whatever you want to call it, it's not there anymore. It's weird because when you go up there, it's kind of hard to even see where it was at. I thought that was interesting. There's the old uh, grist mill, covered bridge. Got having a picnic out there. That's the hotel. Um, it's still open, but I don't think it's very active. There's the monument carved into the side of the rock. And there's the rock again, and the train station. I think I got these for, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty reasonably priced. Um, I've seen these go up for I've seen people asking $10, $15 for these. I don't think I probably paid, I don't know, maybe two, three bucks for them. And here's another Stone Mountain one. Kind of go for it real quick. The Memorial Hall kind of tells you that's kind of a little museum. Guy riding in a car. Country store. Country store is like a gift shop. It's not there anymore. There's the uh, Cover Bridge. Cover Bridge didn't really start there. It was actually moved there in the 60s or 70s. There's the old steam trains. Steam trains don't run there anymore. Now they're diesel electrics. And at one point, I guess you could uh, rent kayaks out there at the marina. Let's go take a look at the other side. Oh, uh, I forgot what that's called. It's like a big pipe organ type thing. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. I forgot what it's called. You can get the design there. Some people walking in a courtyard. Hmm. Don't remember the tram. I'll probably go back and forth to the parking lot. There's that little steamboat. It's a different steamboat than the other one. It looks like a little bit smaller one there. Another plantation home. And people taking a swim. All right. Another stone mountain. Now, I don't know the time frame on a lot of these. But uh, yeah, there's the monument there. There's the, uh, that is the keyboard that runs that, um, organ that's out there kind of in the lake bell organ pipe organ i'm not sure what it is i think it's bells there's the train station again <clears throat> old sting train the general two the plantation home there's the gondola going there's that grist mill again at one point you can actually walk inside the grist mill you can't do it anymore 
it's still operating but it's not operating like it used to and there's some kids petting the deer it's kind of funny because when we were up there last year we turned into the hotel just to see what it's all about and two or three deer walked out right in front of us probably about 20 feet from us and they didn't seem to mind us being there so i guess the deer are kind of used to people there's a covered bridge the old car in front of the uh car museum like i said before it's gone we went over that a little show they used to do um was cowboys and indians type thing this train would stop and they do a little show type thing just something you know, interesting now the train actually instead of goes this way it goes that way there's the uh um confederate hall yep there's a pic picture of the uh, whole mountain and that is the uh whole bell pipe organ thing that that guy plays doesn't happen anymore hasn't happened in quite a while from my understanding you can still go out there and look at it it's all dusty and um yeah you can tell it hasn't been operating quite a while so that's kind of a uh stone mountain and i dropped this one and i dropped it again let's pick it up here gatlinburg have been to gatlinburg in probably 12 or 13 14 years kind of overlook a lot of mountain scenes there can get this folded out right here one of the highways getting into town the little pigeon river entrance to the uh, great smoky mountains there's a gondola ride that takes you up to ober gatlinburg it's actually called ober mountain they changed the name of it recently i think they got new owners leaves changing night scene I like those night scenes you can see the space needle space tower whatever it's called there it is kind of during the daylight and there's another chairlift that goes up there and now there's a sky bridge it's got glass floors and this kind of got messed up in that fire years ago there's a look downtown another view of the downtown this is coming off that gondola ride up uh, I have a postcard of that hotel, I believe, or actually that look, or that view, I guess you'd say. Greetings from Gatlinburg, another shot of downtown, and I think this is kind of like the postcard I got right here, but it's you know, a little bit different. But uh, yeah, just some interesting little piece of history. Like I said, I didn't pay a whole lot of money for them. Um, maybe a couple bucks a piece. I actually got some pretty good deals on them. Kind of being a little more cost conscious after uh, got some plans for this year of going on some road trips and stuff and um yeah with the car breaking down that's not helping the situation obviously but uh yeah i'll get there one way or the other and the next envelope comes to us from washington washington state let's tear into this one See what I got this time. Nice hard plastic envelope casing it. Okay, this is the uh, Incline Railway in Wow, almost said Jack Gatton. Wow, tongue tied. I almost said Gatlinburg. No, it's Chattanooga. I don't know why I think that. From 1910. Um, I don't think I have this one. Um, saw a really good deal when I had bought it. I don't think it was a couple bucks, maybe. And like I said before, I like the ones that are postmarked so you can kind of tell when they're from. My earliest one is from 1907 or 1904 of the Incline Railway. So this is one of the early, early, early ones. Um, like I said, I, I don't know if I had this one. I, I, I don't recall having this one. So I went ahead and got it. Um, I must have got a pretty good deal on it because, you know. Like I said before, I'm a little cost conscious this year with my postcard buying. So, but anyways, you know, that's one of my favorite thing, uh, tourist attractions around is, is the Incline Railway and the whole Rock City Gardens, all that stuff up there and, you know, Lookout Mountain. So just another one of the postcards to add to my Rock City, Lookout Mountain, Incline Railway collection. This next one comes to me from, surprise, Arizona. It's an interesting name. You know what that's at? Let me know. I've never heard of that one before. Surprise. I guess it's a surprise. Right. And what do we got here? Not postmarked. Oh, okay. 
This is the Bear Pits, Overton Park, Memphis, Tennessee, which now is called the Memphis Zoo. We went there right before Christmas and had a really good time watching, looking at all the Christmas lights and the animals and stuff. Um, basically, the zoo started out as just some people bringing animals out there, if I'm not mistaken. This is the very one of the very, very early, early forms of the zoo. Now, having put in bears in cages like this, they really frown upon that. And uh, you can see the people just kind of walking around looking at them. Um, nothing too fancy. Uh, I think this is from the 30s or maybe 40s, I'm guessing. I have to look at the listing again. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I thought it was kind of cool. You know, we've been there a couple of times and it was interesting. I found, you know, started doing a little more history looking at it. And I got some older pictures of the zoo. If I got them, I'll post them up here on the screen. I thought it was kind of neat the you know to see how the zoo originally was versus how we got to see it you know about a month or so ago so just one of those another historical was now type things and the moment we've all been waiting for this large envelope that i've been holding on to for some reason for a year honestly don't even understand why it uh, why i've even had it for a year and i've opened it up so i'll go ahead and pop it open if it's something y'all don't need to see well the video will probably end Right after this, if it's something interesting, well, you're in luck. Wow, this is a bunch of postcards, a lot of postcards, a lot of folding postcards. I don't think I'm going to go over, open these up individually. I might do it in another video just for sake of time because these can get pretty lengthy as one of my longest videos ever was opening up a I think it was like 40 something of these and I think these are from that same seller they have a lot of these and they have a really good price on them and when you buy them in bulk you get you know discounts on shipping type thing that sort of thing so um yeah I don't think I got any doubles I had to go back and look, and I think this is one of those nights I sat there and just looked and looked and looked at this one seller and just add the cart, add the cart, add the cart. And this is what I came up with. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen or twenty cards here. Like I said, I'm not going to open these all up. I'll probably do another video. Later this week and just go over them a little bit if you want to see them in depth look for that video probably and yeah, probably Wednesday maybe Friday just kind of see what's going on in the house all right got one from Mississippi here greetings from Mississippi my home state this is kind of neat it's a little small New Orleans um, I guess it's postcard no it's actually kind of like pictures it's kind of neat just set that to the side another stone mountain Confederate Memorial. Lookout Mountain, Chattanooga. Um, I might have that one. I don't know. I don't think I do. Pretty sure I went over all these and looked to make sure I didn't have them already. In New Orleans French Quarter. And Rock City with the Rock City Gardens in C7 States. And there's another rock city kind of the same thing just probably a different time frame greeting from mobile alabama not too far from me and biloxi mississippi this is probably an older one here it was postmarked at one point but there's no yeah if you want to see more about that just take a keep an eye out in gatlinburg tennessee Space Needle and the Tram Ride. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's another Stone Mountain one. Okay. Greetings from New Orleans, or New Orleans as we call it down here. Got Canal Street. Howdy from Six Flags over Georgia. I like Six Flags over Georgia. I haven't been there in a quite a while. I need to get back there soon. It's not too far away. You don't see too many folding postcards of Six Flags. 
but obviously I have two of them here. You can tell kind of a time frame difference in them. Train ride. Fantastic Bourbon Street. Of course in New Orleans, Louisiana. USS Alabama. My daughter and I have toured the USS Alabama quite a few times. Um, I'll leave a link right up here somewhere. Looked at it a couple years ago right before uh, the pandemic. There's another USS Alabama warship. It's one of the museum ships, I think. I believe that's what they call it. Souvenir folder from New Orleans, Louisiana. Looks like 1944 on that one. So this one was actually sent off. It's kind of neat. Like I said, I'm going to go over these in another video, not to make, so I don't make this one really long. And historic New Orleans, Louisiana. Canal Street. So there's about 1920 postcards and a little photo book. I've never seen one of those. That's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, just a whole big hodgepodge of folders that I probably got at a really good deal. Now my problem is I don't know how to um, store these. I'm going to have to find a box that's going to fit these really well. Probably a postcard box and have to stack them in there like so. I got all my other postcards in, in plastic sleeves so I can look on both sides of them. Separate it. I'm going to go over that here in a little bit. I've been saying I'm going to do that. And that's another one of my uh, New Year's you know, resolutions. I like saying resolutions. But anyways. Um, yeah, I'm going to find another uh, box or something to hold all these postcards in, separate them out, and that'll be another video too. Um, so, yeah, kind of interesting collection there. Well, this week's opening was the opening of the folding postcards, I guess it is. I got about 20, yeah, let's just say 24, 25 of them this week inadvertently. Kind of luck of the draw. Like I said, that last one we opened, I wasn't really sure what was in it. I've had it for almost a year now it's kind of a shame to say it but you know it is what it is got some interest in older ones from 1910 and probably you know early early 1900s memphis zoo there kind of interesting spread of uh postcards from the the south area kind of where i'm from and places i've been to i'm trying to get a little bit further north this year with my explorations and vacations and the whatnot um looking to get to middle tennessee on into kentucky Hopefully middle part of this year, we'll see how that goes with finances and what else decides to break on me here at the house or vehicles or whatever. But uh, yeah, so keep an eye out on my future videos of our explorations and vacations and that sort of thing. And maybe I'll be getting some more postcards, some new postcards and some older postcards from those areas. But uh, yep, that's about it. Hope everybody has a great Monday. The rest of your week goes really well and uh, appreciate you all watching. We'll see you next time.